the bell. Louder, louder, faster, louder, faster. The factory's thinking. The factory's thinking. Are you going to get a guest bell? Thank you very much. Hi guys, my name is Nathan. I'm Ty. Hi Nathan, hi Ty. <laughs> and we are from Michigan State University Science Theater. We're an outreach organization. We go all around the state and we perform amazing science demonstrations to get people really excited about science. So today, as you probably guessed, we have a demonstration involving fire. So fire is caused by a chemical reaction called combustion. So we need three things to get fire started. So one of those is an ignition. Can anybody help me in any other two? Um, Who said that? Oxygen. Oxygen. Oxygen, yes. And then we need one more thing, something like a log in a fireplace. What would that be called? It starts with an F. How about you over here? Nope. Well, we're looking for is fuel, actually. Fuel. So you need an uh, ignition source, like a spark. You need oxygen to burn like you have in the air. And you need fuel, like a log. And I bet you all know that fires can be really dangerous, right? Yeah. Everyone knows that. And the reason is that combustion reactions release a lot of energy from that fuel you're burning. And all that energy can go into heating things up. And if it gets really hot, it can do awful things, like burn your house down. So we don't want to burn anything down, so we take the precautions necessary. We have a fire extinguisher over here, and we also have these thermal gloves to keep our hands protected for our demo, and we've got safety glasses here. All right. Okay, so today we're going to make a very controlled fire. And in fact, we're going to have it so well under control, I think it's really going to surprise you. So we're going to do the demonstration for you, and then we'll talk about what you just saw, okay? Yeah. Don't do this at home. <laughs> Let's do not. Now Ty's pouring a special solution into this basin here. And now we've just got some fabric and we're going to douse it in that solution. So he's, getting to, he's, he's coating the fabric in the solution. He's getting it all wet. Thank you, Ty. Now I've got one. Ty's going to take another. And we're going to do two at the same time. We are yeah, science so experts. Okay, let's scoot this over a bit. And that's right, we are experts. This is something you cannot do at home. But we, we, have, we are experts, we are trained very well. We have lots of special safety equipment. And so everything we're going to do today is going to be very safe. Remember, this is going to be a very, very controlled fire. All right, there we go. Okay, can can we get the lights? All right, you guys ready? All right, can I get a countdown? Starting from three. Back 
Like s'mores? All right, so our towel didn't burn, did it? We still have our towel here, don't we? You guys saw a huge flame. Normally, when you see something like that, something gets really burnt and charred, right? It looks really nasty afterwards. But our towels. Like marshmallows. But our towels are still in pretty good shape, aren't they? All right. How did that happen? Well, it's all about that special solution we use. Now, this probably looks just like water, but actually, it's a mix of water and isopropyl alcohol. Now, isopropyl alcohol, it's used in cleaners. It's nothing special. You might have some in your kitchen. But like all alcohols, it's highly flammable. And that just means that it can create these combustion reactions really easily. So as you said, it's isopropyl alcohol and water. So when we lit it on fire, we were burning the alcohol, not the towel. So all that energy that we're releasing is going into heating up that water instead of burning our towel. Exactly. And water has a really high heat capacity. That means that it can absorb a lot of energy without actually heating up very much. So all that energy that you saw that huge flame giving off, it wasn't actually raising the temperature of the water by all that much. So what you saw was actually burning was just the alcohol, and the water is keeping the towel protected. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. yeah. All right, we're going to give them a big thank you. Everybody stand up. Thumbs out. Hey, hey! <laughs>